Protests continue in Venezuela and a new bill causes controversy in Hungary. Our international reporter Claudia Buccio has the details. Claudia? That's right. Anti-government protests continue in Venezuela for second week in a row. Venezuelans are facing food and medicine shortages due to inflation. But this is only part of the crisis. Thousands of Venezuelans took on the streets across the country. This comes after the Supreme Court ruled to strip power away from the legislator, legislature. Even though the decision was overturned, it still caused anger in Venezuela as fear of dictatorship increases. This weekend, the government announced that opposition leader Enrique Capriles is banned from politics for the next 15 years. A Venezuelan opposition activist explains what the goal of these ongoing protests are. All these kind of activities have been done with the goal of demanding the government to hold general elections, to receive urgent humanitarian help because we have hungry people in our country eating from the trash. We also want political prisoners to be released. On Sunday, President Nicolás Maduro said that he is eager for regional elections to take place. The opposition still believes that this effort is not enough for change to happen. The Central European University in Budapest is at risk af after closing or moving after the Hungarian president signed a bill that sets new restrictions on foreign universities. The new bill would require that the Hungarian government and the home country of the university establish a bilateral agreement within six months. This would affect countries outside the European Union. It also requires universities to establish campuses in their home countries as well as Hungary by the end of the year. The Central European University is an English language university accredited by the U.S. and Hungary. However, it does not have a campus in the U.S. On, on Wednesday, we will have another demonstration. This is a, a, a democratic battle for uh, defending uh, the rights of education and the freedom of universities. The university is, staying, is fighting to stay in Budapest. I spoke to a Hungarian student who attended the protest on Sunday and hopes to enroll at CEU. It's the best university, uh, not only in Hungary, in the courses that it teaches, but, and, but also in, in Central Europe and recognized worldwide, especially um, in research of economics and social sciences. So I think it's very sad and Hungary loses a lot of opportunities. While negotiations between the university and the Hungarian government continue, countries such as Lithuania and Poland have continued to relocate. Back to you, Jake and Gabriela.